hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a flyer like this in photoshop so before any further i do let's get started here i'm going to use a5 then i'm going and i will change this to inches then my resolution will be 300 then click on create i will go and co copy my color code ctrl c to copy go to your solid column then ctrl v to paste it all right now you go and bring your background okay then change it to overlay then you have something like this then after this one then you have you will go back again then to select this image here then reduce it then i'll put put it here i will also going to duplicate it ctrl j then move it to the other side then i will also duplicate it again ctrl j then i will drag it up here all right then the next thing again i'm going to bring this image of heart into the photoshop okay now position it somewhere here like this okay then i will duplicate this one ctrl j Then I'll take it under here, then increase it it's okay like this for me. All right, then I will also bring this light strike here, then I'll drag it under. Then I'm going to reduce the size. I want something like this. All right. Now I will select the boat, then use my ar my arrow key then to drag it down. Then also use your arrow key to drag this one down. All right. Now I'm going to bring this image down to Photoshop. Then like this. All right. Then I'm going to my blending mode then look for the blending mode that you will like then and you apply to it okay overlay is okay for me then i have something like this all right now i will go to select my rectangle then I'll drag from this place down like this. Now it is white color. Then I'm going to apply a red outline color. Then 
then I will increase the outline color then I have a thin a thin then now I will go to my fill color then reduce it to 0% then this is how it will look like now if you want to increase the outline then you go back again increase it a bit to type 23 all right now i'm going to rasterize it oh sorry i will convert it to smart object then i will rasterize it so that the outline will not disappear now i will go to select my lasso tool then i will cut it this way then delete I'll cut it this way like this, delete. Then control D. Now I have something like this. All right. Then I will bring this logo down to Photoshop. Then reduce the size Then our position is somewhere here Then I'll rotate it this way Then I'll come to copy my test select your test tool then control V to paste now I will go to my font to change the font then the font I'm going to use is F Jala right is here this is the font then I will come to the here then make it bold and capital letter now i'm going to reduce the font size like this it's okay then i will select it with the logo then i will apply horizontal alignment now I have something like this 
then I'm going to group the two of them and name it logo all right now I will also copy ctrl J to duplicate the test then ctrl A to alight it then I will copy the test valentine then paste here I'm going to change the font to something like this red all right then I will also going to change the font to Hartford script then I will remove it from bold and capital letter now I'm going to scale it out big like this all right so have it like this control a then apply vertical alignment control d to deselect Then I will alight this one. Then I'm going to group it and name it my background. Now what I'm going to do next is to copy my text ctrl c to copy then i will also duplicate this test here ctrl j then drag it down select your test tool then you alight it then ctrl v to paste now i'm going to change the font color to black then change the font name I will leave the font in the description below so that you can make use of it. Now I'm going to change it to capital letter. Then I will scale the size like this. then ctrl a then apply vertical alignment then ctrl d to deselect all right then i will also go back again to copy my test then select your test tool then ctrl v to paste Now, I'm going to reduce the size, then scale it this way, use your arrow key then to bring it down. Then I'll also duplicate this one, Ctrl J to duplicate, then you drag it down. Then come back and copy your test. Ctrl A, then Ctrl V. Now, then I'm going to align this one, 
then change the font color to something red then drag it up okay this one is okay now i will also ally this one then i will go back to this place then click on this now this is what i have then ctrl a apply vertical alignment then it will come to the center then ctrl d to deselect again i'm going to duplicate duplicate this one then take it drag it up then copy your text ctrl c now i light and ctrl v Ctrl A, apply vertical alignment, then Ctrl D to deselect. So I have something like this. The last thing I'm going to bring is the social media, which is the, then drag it down to Photoshop. Now I will reduce the size. Then apply vertical alignment. So this is what I have. Now I'm going to select the test, then Ctrl G, and I'm going to rename it the test. Now I will expand the test like this. So this is how the design was made. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.